Hey everyone, welcome to Beach Investing. I'm your host, Andre Andrzejewski. We're here in the Monarch Park in Danforth area with Brendan Riley. How are you, Brendan? Good, thanks, Andre. How are you? Excellent. Good. So Brendan is a co-owner here with Sharon, of course, and we will be showing you what they've created here. And it's an after renovation video. They've created a luxury triplex. And we're gonna show you the details of what they've done, all the modern finishes, the rustic finishes, and everything in between of why this place demands the rents that it does and makes it a fantastic income property. So come on in and we'll show you. Just like to comment on the simple and effective uh, low maintenance landscaping uh, to improve curb appeal. Come on up. So this entrance is only for the upstairs unit, which is a two bedroom apartment. And every uh, apartment has its own designated entrance. So let's start with the finishes. So yeah, so we just, we exposed the brick. Uh, brick right now is very in, it's very trendy. And we have some nice uh, wall art here featuring uh, the Toronto skyline. All right. So as you can see here, when you walk up, you come into an open concept area, which is the living room and kitchen area. And we'll just highlight some of the features for you. I'll start with maybe my favorite, the exposed beam. This is non-structural, right Brandon? Non-structural, but for aesthetics, it really gives a nice look and feel to the unit, uh, which is what we're going for, obviously. Also have... Um, Beautiful uh, quartz countertops with tile backsplash from counter to ceiling, um, stainless steel appliances, sorry, stainless steel appliances, and of course, um, custom cabinetry as well. And you have your own walkout deck here, which yep. gives the, the tenants their own outdoor space. Yep. And uh, that's also important for tenants. They like to have their own outdoor space to either do a barbecue or to sit out and read a book and just enjoy the fresh air. So another thing I want to mention is the durable floors here. And this is um, laminate flooring, right? It's engineered laminate, yeah. It's extremely durable. Uh, you know, it's not going to be stained or... Um, this, yeah, it's just very low maintenance, which yep. is great. And uh, the heating is all electric baseboards? So electric baseboards, yes, throughout the triplex, as yeah. well as ductless mini splits for cooling. It also has a heating feature, which... Um, it, the heating aspect doesn't work below minus 20, so that's why we have the um, baseboards, baseboards for, for backup. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So then we're coming into these hallway here where we have bedroom number one. Yep. And before we go into bedroom number two, we want to show you the, uh, the bathroom. Yep. So the bathroom, beautiful cathedral ceilings. Um, very modern shower, just the whole bathroom is very, very modern, very, very clean looking. It's in the middle. And here is bedroom number two. So this is the master bedroom. Now mind you, these bedrooms are small. Many of you might be thinking, you know, what's, what's going on here? How can you possibly rent these two bedrooms out when they're that small? But this is Toronto. It's what people expect, majority of people expect, and we're providing with luxury finishes with a completely turnkey renovated apartment. And we, if you look up, uh, you see the exposed beams, the modern lights, the rustic finishes, and we have ensuite laundry, which is behind one of the, the hallway closets here. I would also just like to add that uh, one of the main key features for this unit is the cathedral ceilings, which were not cathedral to start, start off with. It was just a peaked roof. And um, so yeah, so we were able to open that up, giving this more luxurious open space. Okay, and for this apartment, what are we expecting it to rent for? We uh, have it advertised for? So within a range 22 to 2400 in range. All right, and uh, we'll go see the main floor right now. All right, so now we're heading into the main floor unit. 
And what I wanted to point out, this is through the back entrance, but we want to show you the, uh, the storage that we have here, which is two, two storages. And are they for each tenant? Um, so they are six by eight storage units. They are for whoever's willing to pay for them. So there's two, there's two storage units and three units. So first come, first serve basis. Okay. As, as well as a parking spot, correct. And then for the rest of the tenants, if they want parking, it's street parking. Okay. Yeah. Well, come on we also have included a, we've added this beautiful deck, again for just extra outdoor space. We believe this is a nice size, uh, this is like an 8 by 14 size deck. Yeah, it gives you your private space, outdoor space. So finishes wise, we are looking very comparable to the upstairs. Uh, slightly different layouts, but we're, we're talking about the same finishes with uh, quartz countertops, custom kitchens, stainless steel appliances, right. the exposed beam, yeah. the durable hard uh, engineered laminate floors. Yeah, and again, to optimize space, this is really a relatively small house, so we're looking to kind of how can we optimize it. So we added this island here, this um, peninsula, with um, it serves as a breakfast bar and a dinner table. Yep. We've got your beautiful painted lights as well, which just really uh, highlights the wall feature, the uh, the beam, and just makes it that much more modern and um, attractive. Yes. Washer dryer in here. So in here we have the washer and dryer. So this is again, I always highlight this in every video that we do. It is so key for income properties where you want to demand the luxury rents. Added storage is always a bonus. You can never have enough storage. Bedroom number one. And this is the bathroom. Now this one, uh, upstairs we had a bathtub and a separate shower. This one is just a shower, which uh, some people might find, you know what, do we need a bathtub? Well, no, not always do you need a bathtub. So it, it's good to mix it up. People like showers, some people like bathtubs. And again, we have some park cathedral ceilings here. This was the front porch, which we have converted to bedroom space. So really, again, just reaching out, trying to grab as much space as we can to optimize the unit, uh, obviously, which then increases rents. Yes, and for this apartment, is it two bedrooms again? Two bedrooms, yeah. uh, What are you anticipating for rent on this? For well, this one, around twenty-one to twenty-three hundred a month. Okay, and this is all plus utilities, right? Plus plus utilities and parking and storage shed at the back as well. There's an option there too. Okay. So just the shed is going to be seventy-five a month, and parking is going to be around a hundred. Okay. Right. Let's go downstairs to the basement. All right. So now we're heading into the basement, but now with the other co-owner, Sharon. How are you doing, Sharon? Good. How are you, Bob? Excellent. So now we're heading into the basement apartment so we can show you guys the beautiful apartment down there. Come on, show us the way, Sharon. Let's go. All right, so down here, we have a very large open concept area. And this used to be very chopped up, right, Sharon? Yeah, this is actually my favorite apartment of the three because of the way everything flows. Because the kitchen's there, the living room's here. We have a nice little place for an office or a desk over there. Um, there's some nice features in the kitchen. You have a wine rack here. Like I said, we were gonna put some shelving in here, but just to optimize our tenant group, where somebody could put a little dining room table here. So it's a nice open space. And actually this is like, I, I, I kind of agree with you. This. For being a basement, this is actually very, very nice. Like it's got a lot of the modern finishes that, you know, for a basement tenant, typical tenant profile, this is a wow factor. So this is... And you can see the height here. Yeah, absolutely. This is there's, really there's, there's, good, there's good height, height here. There are LED pot lights. There's the, the TV there. We got the, again, the baseboards, the, um, the air conditioning that's ductless there as well. So very good uh, uh, use, of, use of space. Yeah, all, all the finishes, finishes are again the same here. So then we have also a space here that you can use either as a table or for a desk. Little office. So yeah. You don't have to have an extra bedroom for that. No. And uh, come and take a look at the, the bathroom. 
This is also my favorite bathroom for a basement, considering it's very luxurious. So a very spacious stand-up shower. Tell us about the uh, extractor fan, Sharon. The extractor fan has Bluetooth in it, so you can play music in your bathroom. Oh. You can dance in the shower, as you can say. <laughs> so next you have your... Here's where we're keeping the mechanical room, so it fits nicely in the basement, tucked away. Our washer dryer and our bedroom for basement. It's pretty spacious. And we have wall-to-wall -wall closets over here. Come on in. And a nice window for some natural light. So again, this is a, a one-bedroom apartment. And for, uh, come over here. And for... So come on over here. For, for this apartment, Sharon, what are you anticipating for rents here? We're looking at 1500 to 1600 for this area, but especially with the finishes, Probably we're looking for more than 1500 so yeah. I think we can do it. Okay, so let's talk about numbers. Just to wrap up the, the video here, the numbers are about 15 to 16 down here, 21 to 23 on the main floor, 22 to 24 on that second floor. Correct. All plus utilities. Plus utilities. That is, I think, around 6000 or just over $6,000 of gross monthly rent. Then you're looking at a purchase price of... Um, just over a million dollars you guys bought this. Correct. About a million, it was million, a million, million 85. 85, that's correct. Then you're in the process of refinancing correct. to get it reappraised, to get it refinanced. So assuming it gets reappraised at 1.35, um, we are in the winter of 2017. So uh, this market is a little uh, uncertain right now. So it's not the optimal time, but hey, we've had other uh, houses get appraised for very good money, so that means we have a good chance of getting it. Yeah. Will you be cash flowing, or approximately how much will you be cash flowing is the better question. We're looking to cash flow just over $1,000 on the entire house. So once it's all rented with those numbers. Yeah. So that's what we expect. And those numbers are not um, too much. If, if any of you guys are wondering, you know, how do we come up with these numbers? Well, there are other two bedroom apartments that are renting for $2,000 in in, in not so nice of areas around here, okay? So this is a more a ni nicer area. It's Monarch Park. People love this area. It's a, it's a short walk to the subway with restaurants and yeah. good schools. So this is a, a, a much nicer area. Yeah. So these rents are very realistic. And what I do want to also point out is this is a triplex. Triplexes actually work, okay? So this is another uh, uh, reason I'm doing this video so I can show you viewers what is possible out there? Approximate uh, amount of renovation spent was roughly two sixty. Two sixty plus GC fees. Plus GC. So just just under three hundred thousand dollars, and this is a complete gut renovation. So that is actually a good price. Yeah. And you guys have created a an anchor property here that you're probably proud to call your property. Yeah, I think this property do really well, especially in this area, as you know, Andre uh, won't let us down. Yeah. And Andre, what's the timeline for the renovation? Sorry, Sharon, what's the timeline for the renovation? Six months back to back. So for triplex, we think we did really, really well with that. You did phenomenal. Yeah. So thank you guys. Congratulations on all your hard work and uh, all the best. And viewers, if you have any questions, you know how to reach me.